Hi, good evening. Um, welcome to Soul Print Intuitive Tarot. I'm recording this on January 6th in the evening. It is about 9 o'clock Mountain Standard Time. So there have been, you know, a lot of talk today about during the anniversary of um, January 6th. And it struck me that there are some questions that should just flat be answered. So I'm going to ask the questions. I haven't pre-screened these, so I don't have a clue what the answers are going to be. But there's just a few things that I want to see if I can get some clarification on. So the first, let's just, okay, so back and side to side, the pendulum's ready to talk. For those of you who follow along, put me on pause and go grab your pendulums. Back and forth is yes, show me no, and round and round is no. Okay, first question. Is Donald Trump being investigated by the FBI for actions that took place on January 6th. Okay, you can see this thing just as soon as I started talking was was back and forth with the yes. So just because we don't know about it, it doesn't mean it's not happening. This is a strategy question. Is part of the strategy that that they, those in law enforcement, are sort of waiting until the um, select committee starts presenting their findings so that the public has far more awareness or clarity of what he was up to. Yeah, so, you know, it struck me as I was um, watching whatever it was I was watching, and it was like, you know, it makes so much sense, right? It's like, okay, so they've got, let's assume the pendulum's right, and there's an FBI investigation going on. It makes so much sense from a strategy standpoint to just sit back and be quiet and let the committee start presenting their evidence, at which case, at which time, it makes perfect sense. Um, the FBI, by them, probably should have completed their investigation, and they will be able to follow up that, um, the reporting from the select committee with a charge. So even though it's frustrating all of us and making us crazy, it really feels energetically as if there really is a method to their madness. They know what they're doing because you have to understand, uh, this is all energetic, okay, people? You have to understand that it's not enough to charge him. It's not even enough to find him guilty. Before that happens, you have to convince at least some of those Republicans who think maybe the insurrection was wrong, but they still think that, you know, sometimes you need to use violence against um, the government, but more importantly, that Biden is an illegitimate president. They have to sort of reach out to some of those people and let them start taking in the information, because the last thing you want is to um, charge him and then literally have a civil war in your hands. Okay, so just energetically, that's the energy I'm looking at and feeling. Has Ivanka um, given more information to investigators, whether that be um, any of the investigations, okay, that are going on pertaining to her dad and business's practice? Has she actually given more information to those investigators than we know of? Mm hmm Yes, she has. And is that because she is ultimately trying very hard to protect herself? And that's a yes. Is Melania actually... Uh, that white hat for $250,000? Are you kidding me? Is Melania selling those clothing items to feather her nest. Yeah. Yeah. So down the road, and I don't mean this year, 
maybe next year, the beginning of next year sometime, is Melania actually going to, at that point, leave Trump? Okay, and this is the next question. And is she going to do that because he is now useless to her? Yeah. The point in time where he is so busy fighting off charges and investigations, she's going to realize that, you know, the writing's on the wall and she's not going to hang around for it. Um, John Jr., is he um, going to end up in significant trouble due to um, illegal, unethical business practices? Yeah. <coughs> Truly? Because if you try to get him on the whole insurrection or any political areas... Honestly, the best defense is he's too stupid to understand what he's doing, um, which was actually something that came out with great clarity when it was the whole, I love it, if that's what you're talking about. You know, they, it's like, you're not actually smart enough to understand that some of the stuff he does is illegal. Is Biden going to be in office till the very last day of his term. Is he going to stay in office for the term he's currently serving? And is Biden going to run again in the 2024 election? And is Biden going to win the 2024 election? Voting rights seem to be the, the pivot. Right, we need voting rights. You need voting rights to get um, taken care of. So the question is: um, Are is is Congress going, particularly the Senate, are they going to be able to get um, the filibuster? Get a cut out on the filibuster? Yes. And is that going to allow them to pass the some variation of the Voting Rights Act? Yes. Joe Manson it seems to be a bit of a obstructionist right now. Is we know he's totally beholden to the, the big donors who give him all kinds of money and pharmaceutical and coal or oil or whatever it is he's got his fingers into. But having acknowledged that, at this point, um, is, is Senator Manson likely to sort of find a little piece of real estate that he can stand on and say, I didn't fold. This just now makes sense. Or it, it is what I wanted. Okay. So he appears to be trying to save face. Okay. And honestly, at this point, just let him. Just let him so that the, the world can move on. Okay. Um, build back better. Is that something that... Um, is likely to is it likely to be resolved before the midterms? Yeah, okay, I'm getting a small yes on that. Okay. And once again, is the House, after the midterms, is the House going to increase their numbers and hold on to the majority? And that's a yes. And the Senate, is Schumer going to be able to um, enjoy a Senate with a, with a few more seats in it to make things a bit more comfortable? Is there going to be an increase in the number of, is there going to be an increase in the number of Democrat Senators? Yeah. Is 
some of this shift um, away from some of the Republican behaviors, um, is that going to be part of the reason? Like, are there going to be some Republicans out there who are just like, no, no, this, this can't go on. And so as, the, as a citizen with one vote, um, I'm going to vote to make this kind of crazy stop. Okay, so there's hope out there. There's hope. Hang on to it. Um, you know, I have been seeing Mitch McConnell leave his office for a very long time, and he's just not going. Is Mitch McConnell likely to leave his office? Okay, stop. I got to ask the question. Is Mitch McConnell likely to leave his office before the next federal election? Okay, that's a yes. He is going to face some significant pushback, again, energetically I'm being told, um, some significant pushback because he was silent today. And, you know, you can't give a speech a year ago laying the responsibility for this at the feet of Trump, and one year later when so much more information is known, and just be silent. And I think it's appalling, and they should be ashamed all the Republicans who just boycotted the ceremonies um, today, I, they should just be ashamed of themselves. And if you have a Republican House rep or senator, you should probably send them a message. I'm just saying. Um, is... Merrick Garland ultimately going to prove to be the right man for the job. I'm getting a really strong yes. So I guess this is one of those times where we just have to have a little bit more faith. Okay. This is it. This is the end of the video. I do want to remind you that um, like tomorrow morning, like in, you know, 18 hours, 12 hours, whatever. Um, there is going to be my regular video that's coming out. It is a look at Trump and the Trump family in 2022. So that is going to be, it's an, it's a, it's an interesting video. There's some interesting insights on there. So I encourage you to, to, um, you know, take the 20 minutes or whatever it is to watch that. I hope that this little mini video tonight, um, is bringing you some clarity, some comfort, some hope, because certainly that is always, always my intention. So from the very cold province of Alberta, I bid you and yours, a wonderful new year and a good evening. See you in the morning. Bye-bye.